ready for a song about growing a tiny seed into a flower? This is a really fun one that we can all do the motions to. So we're going to start with a tiny seed. I want you to imagine you have a seed. I have a tiny sunflower seed. You can just see it there, but I'm going to put it down for the song. Okay? I'm going to pretend that I'm planting my seed in the ground. Here we go. We plant the seed down in the ground. The rain makes a shower, and then the sun shines bright all around. Up pops the flower. That was so much fun. Let's try it again. And then I made some pictures for this song too, and we'll do the song with the pictures. But first, let's do it one more time with our hands together. Here we go. Pretend this is the ground right here. We plant the seed down in the ground. The rain makes a shower. And then the sun shines bright all around. Up pops the flower. Oh, I, think, I think I would like to see a beautiful sunflower grow from my seed. How about you? And now let's look at the pictures for the song. Are you ready? We plant the seed down in the ground. The rain makes a shower. And then the sun shines bright all around. Up pops the flower. Time for rain sticks. One thing that happens in the spring is it rains a lot. Now it's not that much fun to go outside in the rain, but it is really good that it rains in the spring because all the trees and flowers need lots of rain to grow. And I love singing about the rain, and I love making rain sounds with my rain stick. You hear the rain sound? Let's turn it over like this, and you can hear the rain going all the way down. Now this rain stick was made in a country in South America. I can't remember which one. It might have been um, Ecuador or Argentina. Uh, but it's made out of a piece of wood, as you can see. And I think what they did was they hollowed out a small tree and then filled it with some rocks. And then they hammered nails into it so that the rocks fall across the nails and make the rain sound. I'm going to show you another rain stick that we often use in my music classes. This rain stick, you can see how the balls fall down inside the rain stick. And some of you might even have a rain stick like this at home. You can see it's made out of plastic and the little balls are tapping against um, some little shelves in here that have holes in them. Now, I want to talk to you today about making your own rain stick. I'm going to show you a rain stick that I made. This is pretty small, but I made it out of something I found right in my own house. I have found a paper towel roll, and it just makes a little nice rain sound. Listen to this. And I'm going to tell you how to make a rain stick like this. Um, it's really easy, and you can even make it out of a longer paper roll if you have, say, a wrapping paper roll. And it doesn't involve any nails. It just involves aluminum foil and a paper towel roll. So I hope to give it a try and make some rain sounds. You're starting with a paper towel roll. And you'll also need some foil and masking tape and something to fill your rain stick with, such as bird seed or a few small beans or lentils. You're going to grab a piece of foil a few inches long and twist it loosely, then stuff it in your tube. Then do that a couple more times. Seal up one end with foil and cover that with tape. Now add your filling, perhaps a couple of tablespoons full. 
and seal up the other end. Now you're ready to decorate it. Use whatever art supplies you have around. I like doing collage with old magazines. I've got my glue stick and scissors and some paper that can be cut or torn in different shapes. I put some glue on the back and then glue it to my tube. I'm doing glue for a water theme and I added some fish details. And here is my completed rain stick. You can find out more about rain sticks and rain songs on my blog at antelopedance.com.